Hello there. Today we're going to be doing a little product demonstration on the Harmony Squirrel Quill Brushes. Uh, this is a natural hair brush, as the name suggests, squirrel hair brush. And I just want to show you some of the uh, features and benefits of using such hair. The squirrel hair is one of the softer hairs available, which also means it's going to be extremely absorbent. Uh, what I have right here is a size 6. And this is going to be, you know, people refer to it as a mop brush. Some people even refer to it as a wash brush. But Although it has the wash capabilities because it can retain so much water, you get much more control because of the point it comes to. So if you just kind of look here, you can see it, it covers a lot of room with a lot of water. And you know, just that one stroke, it keeps, it keeps going. Um, but because of the capabilities of the squirrel hair, you're also able to get a sharp point and get a lot more control and detail in addition to that large wash. Um, another cool advantage is that you can go from one to the other. So let's say that for whatever reason, for whatever you're painting, you needed that sharp line and then you wanted it to go into a big bold line. Well, the brush can take care of that for you. If you've used synthetic hair before, or if you currently uh, have um, only used synthetic, uh, there's nothing wrong with synthetic. Synthetic you know, has its advantages. Uh, in fact, I still use synthetics when I'm painting. But there are you know, features and benefits to both types of brushes. And one of the disadvantages to the synthetic brush is that, well, a synthetic brush is made out of plastic. That's what the synthetic hair is. And plastic in its nature is water repellent. Uh, you can take, um, you know, raincoats or ponchos or just, hey, this bucket, holding the water and not absorbing it. So it's not going to hold nearly as much water as natural hair, which is extremely absorbent. Uh, if you've ever, you know, noticed when you got out of the shower, your hair might be a little bit heavier than when you went in. It's, ex you know, it's soaking in the water. It's holding it. The squirrel hair is doing the same thing. So, you know, you'll get the same control, and you'll probably even get, you know, a fairly decent covering power, but it won't be nearly as much or as strong as you would from the squirrel hair brush. Now, right here, I'm showing you. I have a uh, number six uh, Harmony squirrel quill. And they come in a lot of different sizes, but just to kind of give you the range, this is an example of their um, size 16, which you can see is a, a big, big old brush. <laughs> and they go all the way down to the size 0, which um, you know, will again give you that sharp point. And you know, even if you're used to using something like a Klinsky Sable, this will hold more water, and it will go a little bit further, especially if you are, you know, again, trying to cover a large area. Sometimes when you get uh, a new brush, especially a softer hair brush, um, you might get discouraged when you see it uh, dry because it won't have a point. Now, brushes, watercolor brushes in particular, need to be wet to form their point. Uh, and if they don't form their point right out of the water, there's a very simple exercise that I'm going to teach you right now. Um, just make sure it has a little bit of water on it. And then if it you know, is in a state of disarray, all you have to do is flick it on your wrist, and it comes back into its shape. Um, that, that's how it gets its spring back, basically. So uh, if you want to get the point back or test the point of a brush, say you're in an art store and you see a brush and want to test its point, get it wet and then give it a flick on your wrist and it will um, show you its point. That's uh, how you can see what kind of point it will come to when you're using it. So anyway, again, this is the Harmony Squirrel Quill brushes. I hope you give them a try. They're a great little tool to have. And uh, you'll have fun using them. Thanks so much.